Welcome to the first decade of the first century AD, a time when the Roman Empire was at its height, and the world was on the cusp of significant changes. Let's journey through these early years of the Common Era, where history was being shaped in ways that would echo through time. The year is AD 1. Augustus, the first Roman Emperor, is firmly in control of the Roman Empire. Having transformed it from a republic into a powerful imperial state, his reign brings relative peace and stability, known as the Pax Romana, which will last for over two centuries. In the east, in the city of Antioch, Ignatius of Antioch is believed to have been born around this time. He would later become an early Christian theologian, remembered as one of the apostolic fathers of the church. His writings would provide a glimpse into the early Christian community and its beliefs. As we move into the early years of this decade, the Roman Empire continues to expand its borders. The empire is vast, stretching from the British Isles in the northwest to the sands of the Sahara in the south, and from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Euphrates River in the east. Roman culture, language, and law begin to unify these diverse lands under a common identity. In AD 6, a significant event occurs with the establishment of the Roman province of Judea. This is a direct result of the deposition of Herod Archelaus, and it marks a new phase in the relationship between Rome and the Jewish people. Tensions simmer, setting the stage for future conflicts that will shape religious and political landscapes for centuries. AD 9 brings us one of the most dramatic military confrontations of the era, the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest. Here, the Roman legions under Publius Quinctilius Verus are ambushed and decisively defeated by Germanic tribes led by Arminius. This battle halts Roman expansion into Germania and forces the empire to consolidate its borders along the Rhine River. Throughout this decade, we also see the continued spread of early Christianity, particularly in the regions of Judea and Galilee. The seeds of a new religious movement are being sown, one that will grow and spread across the Roman Empire and beyond in the centuries to come. As we close this chapter of the first decade AD, the Roman Empire stands as a beacon of civilization, power, and order. But beneath the surface, currents of change are beginning to stir, foreshadowing the profound transformations that lie ahead. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the fascinating history of each decade in the AD timeline. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow for more updates.